to show that I'm too busy saving somebody else. It is to show that if I do something out of character, it is only because I have not had time to save myself yet. I hope it does not sound like I'm complaining. The last thing I would ever want to do is burden you. So here's a story instead. When my little sister would fall asleep on the couch, it was my job to carry her upstairs to her bed. She is 10 years old now, almost as tall as me. I am no longer responsible for carrying her limp, sleeping body. Her limp, 65 pound sleeping self up, st up the stairs to her bed. But I know how it feels to, to fall asleep on the couch and wake up in the same place. I know how it feels to no longer be carried. She and I are both afraid of the dark. I more than her, it sounds bad. But we sleep in the same bedroom, mostly as well have an excuse to leave the light on. We are so much alike, sometimes I think she has a chance to get myself right. But you can't think of people like chances, nobody gets a second life. She treats me like a lifeline. She spends so much of her time just trying to hug me, her arms start to look like rope. I tell her I love her as often as I can. I know my mother isn't doing it. The trouble is, she never says it back because she knows our mother isn't doing it, so I take her arms and tie them around my neck. Her bones are sticking out everywhere. You could cut your lip just kissing her cheek. Winding canyons got their distinctive shape when ancient rivers ran through them. I wonder how long it took for the tears to sharpen her face to a point. She doesn't know anything about saving or being saved yet, and the last thing I would ever want to do is burden her, so I just tell her stories instead. Before she was born, I prayed to God night after night for hours and asked for a little sister. I don't tell her that story because she knows I don't believe in God. Yet. Instead, I tell her about the night she was born. My mother had a home birth. I stayed up in my room all night until my dad told me I could come see her. I was so confused. I was only seven years old, and I didn't really know anything could look that perfect. I tell her I don't believe in God because I found something new to believe in. I tell her about the first time I held her by myself. She looked up at me like I was a stranger. She didn't know me yet, but she didn't cry. So I just kept holding her. I just keep carrying her up the stairs. <laughs>